Sup YouTube, King Phil here. If you're new, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video. Today, we're going to talk about the best popper build on NBA 2K23. You're going to be a seven footer, all right? Everybody want to be a popper. Everybody want to be a popper. Don't even got no good customs, all right? Don't even know, don't even know how to shoot, but you want to be a popper though. But I got you. I'm going to get you this popper build, all right? This is the best popper build on NBA 2K23 at seven foot for 5v5. All right, 5v5 rec, 5v5 pro am. This is the best popper. Stay tuned. I got you right here. I got the best builds on the game. I know what I'm talking about. All right, y'all know I play stretch. I've been playing stretch for years. I play stretch this year. My primary build is a 6'11 two way stretch five. But let's get into this though. Go center. All right, you can go whatever hand you want. I do play stretch, so I know what I'm talking about. I got a 6'11 two way stretch five. Okay, he is a demon. All right, but he's not the best 5v5 popper build. This right here is. All right, you want to go seven foot. All right, and I'm going to tell you why. 254 for the weight, seven, eight wingspan, and then for the body shape, I went defined. Y'all know I like to go defined. You can go whatever you like, but I'm going defined. Hey, this is the best popper build on the game when it comes to 5v5, 5v5 rec, 5v5 pro am. Now, you can play 3v3 with this too. But we're gonna go ahead and start off like this. We're gonna go 94 on the strength. All right, we're gonna get Brick Wall Hall of Fame. You already separated from the rest of the seven footers. This right here is separating you already off the start. All right, from the jump. 94. All right, and then we're gonna go 99 defensive rebound because we're gonna get Hall of Fame rebound chaser. This right here about to put the icing on the cake right here. 99 block for Hall of Fame anchor. You just separated yourself from the rest of the poppers. All right, you just separated yourself. Hall of Fame brick wall, Hall of Fame anchor, and Hall of Fame rebound. You good. You are good. This the best popper on the game. I'm not even done yet. You're going to put this up to 80. All right, put your interior defense up to 80. I'm telling you, you solid right here with 26 badge points on defense all right speed we're going all the way up to 69 normally a seven footer will have 70 speed but you only one off you only one off you good don't worry about that vertical we're going 82 stamina we're going 90 all right i promise you this is the best popper on the game for 5v5 i promise you that hold on a second because we ain't done all right we're not done three point i'm gonna give you an 82 three ball y'all know three ball matter three ball matter when it comes to these poppers because of the jump shots certain jump shots you can't get unless you got a good three-point rate or a good mid-range pass actually we going 70 that's good enough all right driving dunk i'm gonna give you the contact dunks all right and you know you get the contact dunks at 84 but we're gonna go 85 to get posterizer on silver all right trust me follow along man i got the best bills on the game i know what i'm talking about i play the game i don't make bills just to make bills all right i make great bills all right that you're gonna enjoy all right you ain't gonna have no problem with this bill right here this is the best popper on nba 2k23 when it comes to 5v5 rec 5v5 pro am trust me i know what i'm talking about all right we need vice grip that's why i'm looking right here we need vice grip i'm not gonna have you out there lacking when you get a rebound put this post control up to 45 we getting vice grip on bronze that's all you need all right 98 overall right now you're looking real good all right best popper on the game i'm telling you right now best popper on the game for 5v5 wreck 5v5 pro am this is you seven footer all right seven footer you the best on the game all right standing dunk i think i put it up to 71 let's see what what am i what am i about to tweak it's something i'm about to do real quick oh yeah a free throw all right, we're going to be in the red in the 5v5. We're going up to 71 so we can knock down free throws. You good. What can't you do? Answer this question. What can't you do as a popper? What can't you do? All right. Perimeter, we're going up to 49. Steel, we're going up a little bit. 51 so we can get the steel. 99 overall. You got. You have created the best 5v5 rec popper, the best 5v5 pro-am popper on the game. Right here. Seven foot tall, 254 pounds, seven, eight wingspan. You created the best popper on the game. I wouldn't lie to you. I wouldn't lie. 26, you good right here. Look, six points on Box Out Beast, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Then you got 16 left from here. What you gonna do? Put eight right here. All right. Got eight more left. We got eight right there. That's 16. Then you're gonna core one of these. And then you're gonna put the rest, the last eight on Rebound Chaser. You're good. You got Brit Wall Hall of Fame, Anchor Hall of Fame, Rebound Chaser Hall of Fame, Box Out Beast Hall of Fame. And then you got on, you know, Interceptor, Challenger, Glove, you know, Pick Dodge, whatever you need to get the 10. All right. Cause we're getting six out of Box Out Beast. Seven on Interceptor, eight on Glove, nine on Challenger, 10 on Pick Dodge. Cause we know you need. 10 combined points between tier one and tier two to even get to tier three all right so once we use that that 10 on box out beats intercept and all that we're gonna have the 16 left and that will help you guys go over there and get that that hall of fame stuff that you need now driving for the finishing all you need you got 10 but you're gonna use two on limitless two on slithery four on posterizer all right that's eight Put one on Fearless Finisher, and then you can go whatever one else you want. I will put it on Acrobat. That's 10. All right? You good. Trust me, you good. All you need is Limited Takeout, Silver, Slithery, and Posterize. All right? That's all you need. You a popper. You're not an inside. You're a popper. But you're going to be able to finish. Passing, all you need. You got seven. You're going to get Break Starter, Silver, and Vice Grip. That's seven. And then after your core break starter, you can go over there and put on whatever. You're going to put on bailout right here as a popper. Listen to me. I know what I'm talking about as a center of the popper. You want bailout. Sometimes you're going to go for them shots at the top of the key and you're not going to be open. You want to be able to pass out of that. I've been in those situations. Now for the shooting, it's, it's easy to shoot on this game. Okay, shooting, you can put on whatever you want to put on when it comes to shooting. Whatever you want. I would definitely put on Volume Shooter, Clutch Shooter, Agent 3, Claymore, Green Machine, Catch and Shoot, and maybe, now, I'm going to tell you this, I believe Dead Eye is a must on this game. If you are a popper, trust me, if you're a popper, if you're a center, every time you shoot the ball from the top of the key, you will be contested. You need dead eye. Even if the person is not there for real, they will still give you a, a con you will be contested. I, I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out, do we need guard up or do we need dead eye? We need one of those because I be in the wreck and I be standing up top and I be shooting. And every time I pull it, people, it be saying contested. And they don't be nowhere near me for real. And it be saying contested. All right. I, now, I don't have guard up on. The only thing I have on is blinders on my 6'11 stretch. I'm trying to get dead eye. It's taking me a minute because I got a core catch and shoot goal, which takes a long time. And then I'll be able to get dead eye and tell you guys, is that working for me when it comes to the contestants? No. Takeovers are going limbless and we're going paint intimidation for the takeovers. Now, you have created a stretch. <laughs> you know, I love stretches, man. A stretch glass cleaner. All right. Notice it don't say two-way, but it don't matter that it don't say two-way because you're going to have Anchor on Hall of Fame. People going to try you in the paint, but you're going to have Anchor on Hall of Fame with that 99 block. All right? Anchor on Hall of Fame with a 99 block. You're going to be good down there in the paint, especially if you're running 2-3 or whatever. you in the paint trying to hold it down. That Anchor Hall of Fame, okay, is going to help you out a lot. You're going to be able to wall up. You're going to be able to stand there put your arms up. The little the smaller guards coming in there, they're gonna miss. Okay, you're not gonna have to jump, they're gonna miss that anchor. I know this for a fact because of my 611 stretch. I got anchor on silver, and I just be standing there with my hands up. And most of the time, the guard will miss it. All right, most that's most of the time. But for the ones that got a little bit higher strength and higher finish, and you're gonna need that anchor on a little bit higher tier than silver. So that's why this popper right here. It's way better than my 611 stretch, all right? Because we got Anchor on Hall of Fame right here. Now, we did drop our arms a little bit to get that 82 three ball, but I do not think that's going to be a problem, guys, at seven foot tall. I don't think you're going to have any problem because we dropped our arms a little bit to get that 82 three ball. You're not going to have no problem, all right? I haven't had a problem yet, okay? Now, I do have this build myself. I've been playing with it. I just made him not too long ago. I've been playing with him in the wreck. Trying to get the badge and stuff, trying to get them up. 
If y'all don't know, I don't really play my career. I play I, when I grinded out my six eleven two way stretch five. I did not play no my career. I played park only. Park only. Got all my badges, and I went to the wreck. Hey, that's what I'm doing on this seven foot popper right here. I've been playing in the wreck. Haven't really. I played a couple park games, but I've been playing in the wreck with this dude right here. And I've been going crazy. I, I've been playing in the wreck with this popper, this seven foot popper, and I have been shooting the ball lights out. Now, I'm, everybody want to be a popper. They ain't got no good custom. They ain't got no good jump shot. If you want to be a popper, you got to be able to shoot the ball well. If not, there's no need for you to be a popper. Now, I'm about to show you this build and how you should upgrade them when you first starting off. You're trying to go to the wreck like I did because I do have this build. I'm about to show you guys real quick the build because I got them at like an 80-something right now. I'm going to show you what you should upgrade to start off with them so you won't be getting killed. And I'm gonna show you what badges I got on that, that help. And I'm, I'm able to play well with them, guys. I'm able to play well, follow what I have. You should have no problem, all right? If you're trying to go right into the wreck, say you're trying to, you got four of the buddies, look, tell them, let them, tell them you're trying to run center, all right? You wanna run center on your popper. You don't gotta say you got the best popper on the game. You don't gotta say nothing. Just tell them I wanna run center, all right? Now, if you really, really, really um, want to get your badges up and you don't want to be the primary center, get another center on the team. And so when you play 2-3, go in the corner. Go in the corner, let the other center with badges, with defensive badges, be in the paint. You don't have to be in the paint, guys. You got a center, it's okay. Y'all can run two centers, all right? You go slide over in the corner and let the dude with the badges be the paint until you grind your badges and get them up. Now, I will go just like this, all right? I'm an 89 overall. Put your three-point up. Put your drive and dunk up. Put up your pass accuracy, all right? Put up your block to 99, your defense to 99, your speed, put that up to 69, your strength, put it up to 94. You good, all right? This is this how I would start them off at 89 overall. Start them off like this. Start them off just like this. And if you feel like, well, you know, I want my defensive badge before I can run the main center that's okay that's okay finishing i have on limitless silver all right and slithery silver this is how you start my put this on guys follow this you will be good shooting i got on clutch shooter comeback kid volume shooter and green machine and i'm greening shots like crazy i'm gonna bring y'all a video probably tomorrow with the shot that i'm using on this bill all right playmaking we going break start all right defense i got challenger interceptor all ball pass work hard and i got box on beats on hall of fame this is how i got all right this is what i got on them. this is how i'm going crazy in the wreck i'm playing primary center and sometimes i be playing in the corner sometimes i'm playing the paint sometimes i'm playing the corners depending on who i'm playing with we're grinding these badges on the best popper bill on inmate ticket 23 if you enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like on it okay don't forget to subscribe if you new please 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 leave a like guys don't cost you nothing leave a like i'm out here giving you guys the best builds on the game i'll give you guys the best jump shots of the big man what more do you want man leave a like on the video all right the king out